Hello and welcome to New York Crypto Talk. Today I will be doing a project review on ZeroX, an open protocol that allows dApps and relayers to build a trustless exchange of tokens and assets. In this review, I will be focusing in on the tech behind ZeroX, the industry, the competition, the roadmap, and the major milestones they have hit, as well as my closing thoughts. So directly from their Medium post, I just wanted to kind of break down what ZeroX is and what their focus is. So the team at ZeroX focusing in on creating the most robust, modular, and accessible piece of infrastructure for peer-to-peer -peer exchange on the Ethereum blockchain. Core ideas they are looking to incorporate include building public infrastructure, making assets more accessible, more liquid, and empowering enterprising teams around the world to build a new financial system. Xurex can be used by any relayer as a protocol for exchanging anything digitally. It is neither on-chain or an off-chain based solution, as the dApp or relayer can decide how they want to use the protocol. It's really based on what the needs are, what the solution is, and what they're looking to achieve. This allows for exchanges and platforms to not have to build something from scratch. It allows the relayers to utilize the Xurex protocol, which will allow more liquidity of the 0x tokens even if the users don't hold the 0x tokens it is a necessity to execute the smart contracts 0x doesn't charge any fees for the protocol but anyone who decides to build a decentralized exchange on top of the protocol can decide to charge their own fees the token itself is used just for paying trading fees to the relayers for their services however the main purpose of the actual token itself is for the decentralized governments over the Xerox protocols upgrade system. Basically, this means that the people who own Xerox tokens have a say proportional to the amount of tokens they hold and how the protocol should be improved over time. So they're looking to build a community-based platform where depending on what people want to propose for the platform, they will have a say in proposing different changes for the system as well as voting on the different changes for the system and how they see the future happening. Just a note, I have mentioned the word relayer. So a relayer is any party that hosts the order book as a service. Generally, this is off-chain, but more information about the existing relayers will come later. If you check out their website, some of these names will be familiar. These are what they consider relayers. So FNX, DDEX, and other platforms are basically building on top of the 0x platform. Decentralized exchanges where you can actually order tokens. The benefits of 0x is being able to trade any asset, whether it be an Ethereum-based currency, an Ethereum-based game token, an Ethereum-based digital asset, or many other types of classes that will come out in the future. Also, we have network liquidity. By sharing a standard API, relayers can easily aggregate liquidity pools, creating network effects around liquidity that compound as more relayers come online. Basically, using the shared API, all the different orders will all be within the order book on each decentralized exchange. So there will be times where your order might be on multiple exchanges and whoever is on that exchange can pick it up. There will also be a race condition, which is dependent really on the actual exchange itself, on how they handle it, but that happens when someone tries to fulfill the same order on different relayers. So as I mentioned before, the ability to not have to build something from scratch is where they say exchange everywhere. The developers can focus on building the actual platform while ZeroX handles the actual exchange functionality of the platform. So more benefits on why to use ZeroX. Well, trades are done between two parties utilizing the protocol. There is no metal mend of a centralized exchange. It allows for less redundancy. It's more secure than a centralized exchange. Less cost due to network fees since, the, since most of the fees are done off chain. So how does it work? Basically, a user submits an order on chain, signs the smart contract through the relayer, the relayer maintains the order book, which then can be on or off chain depending on the relayer. And the buyer sees the order book and agrees to the order and it is settled on chain. Basic, you would think, right? Very straightforward. It is a tried and true proven method on being able to utilize a platform within a decentralized exchange. If you click here on the top of their website where it says trade 0x, it will bring you to their 0x portal. 
These are the different relays that are currently using the actual token. This is a shared API, so all these platforms will have the same order books, but depending on the actual volume of the exchange, you might want to jump on it because they'll have different tokens, and you can go through each one of these and jump in to actually do some trades within the platform. Before you jump into the actual tech, there is a mission statement and a value statement from the co-founder of the ZeroX platform, and I definitely recommend anyone who wants to get a little bit more background and why they built this, what the main purpose of the platform is, and the, the mission statement for having an open protocol for this type of functionality. It's a great read, so I will put this in the link description below. Before I jump into the main technology piece, I just always like to check out the GitHub of projects to see how active it is, how many repositories it has. So here you can see there's 44 repositories for 0x, many pin repositories that are very active, and here you can see all the different contributors for the platform as well as how frequently it's been updated. A lot of things going on with 0x and it's probably one of the most active GitHub pages I have seen thus far. 0x Protocol V2 is the bread and butter of the platform. You get a lot more information on the timeline and the different pieces that are going to be available and when directly on their forum page. I will put this in the link description below, but it talks about the mainnet launch of 0x V2 on September 3rd. They're going to be doing a test integration of Covan deployment. September 10th, the portal only features for the V2 relayers. Then October, they plan to have the trade widget launches and they will be turning off the version one pipeline in December. So all version one orders will no longer be fillable until the actual relayers upgrade to version two of the code. And there's an upgrade guide, the standard relayer API. Some key points about version two, they're gonna have a new smart contract architecture, more efficient order matching and cross relayer arbitrage, support for new signature types, open source framework for forwarding contracts, ability to filter contracts, bulk order cancellations, with a fixed size transaction, and then the more nitty gritty pieces of version two with all the different pieces and exactly how they're gonna work. This is a breakdown of kind of what I just was talking about. Everything you need to know about the Xerox protocol version two is here on their blog. I will put it in the link description below. I don't wanna go into too many details because a lot of this is very technical. The actual protocol itself is very technical. Mind you, the the idea is basic, it makes sense, people understand what the protocol does and how the actual underlying functionality will be, but when it comes down to the actual technology behind it and the actual code that goes behind the actual project, there's a lot of technicalities behind it, so I don't want to go into too many details here. If you guys have any tech background, I definitely recommend checking out the Xerox Protocol V2 blog. Another great read from the technology standpoint is the compliant peer-to-peer -peer trading. Basically, they're trying to introduce a permission liquidity pool for the project, so allowing for blockchains that want to have some type of KYC AML requirements to be able to use the 0x platform. This is especially key when it comes to security-based tokens where there needs to be a lot of oversight and have a permission token. And this breaks it down a lot more further as far as what actually is being done when it comes to permission tokens. So they go into further detail about the permission liquidity pools. So they basically state that version 2 of the Xerox protocol will allow developers to plug their own smart contract into the Xerox pipeline, extending its functionality. This will open up a variety of exciting possibilities, including permission liquidity pools, which can be used to ensure a collection of 0x orders is only accessible to Ethereum addresses that meet certain requirements. The way that a relayer creates a permission liquidity pool is as follows. So this is going to allow for clients that want to be able to build security tokens on the actual platform. Speaking of which, 0x and Harbor are now gonna be able to unlock global liquidity for real world tokenized assets. This is not a partnership because that is not something that 0x likes to say or utilize. Harbor will wind up working with 0x to build their tokenized asset model. This comes on the tail end of finding out that the addition of David Sachs is the new advisor for the 0x team. David is the former COO of PayPal and the co-founder of Harbor. 0x and Harbor are working together to optimize the interoperability between the standards-based 
ZeroRx platform and the Harbor compliance protocol, critical layers in the tokenized security stack. They are gonna help facilitate compliant training through the ZeroX Relayer ecosystem. And Harbor will leverage the ZeroX protocol to build their compliant platform of security tokens. Some things that ZeroX will not do, this is directly from one of the co-founders, is take a direct or indirect financial stake in any Relayer, act as a formal informal advisor for any Relayer, or enter into any sort of partnership with a relayer. So this relayer, i.e. Harbor, will be working directly with 0x, but not as a partnership. They are going to be leveraging 0x's technology. Moving to the roadmap, so we have the version 2 of 0x, but at the same time we also have the governance of 0x. As I mentioned, 0x token allows to stakeholders to securely upgrade 0x protocol without downtime or disruption to markets. And it is also a token voting scheme to decentralize the government of the actual platform. So they are planning to build a on-chain token voting scheme, which as of right now is not complete. But here's the actual roadmap of the actual governance. So they have the token curated registry, the community veto, the liquid democracy, the crypto economics modeling, off-chain voting, cross-blockchain governance, and these are the different dates that they have in plan for the governance model. Then they go through the different phases and how it's going to actually work. This is a very, very long article, mind you, so I will put this in the link description below. I do apologize because Zero X does have a lot of great information, and if I keep going through all this into detail, I would be here for 40 minutes at least. Speaking of the roadmap, they did propose 18 ideas on how the relayers could work for ZeroX protocol in 2018. So I'm going to just quickly hit on these. So the first one is a stable coin converter. This was a question that I had on Twitter, so I'd like to answer basically how they plan to work with stable coins. Suppose you want to make a standing order to buy ZeroX at the price if it ever hits $5 and sell it if it ever hits $2. Right now you can't do that because the price is always gonna fluctuate for Ethereum. Ethereum's gonna go up, 0x goes down. Ethereum goes up, 0x goes up. So the exchange rate is never gonna be correct. The purpose of having the stable coin is that you can place an order and it will stay there and they'll peg the Ethereum or the specific token against that actual stable coin. And this will allow for people to be able to make purchase orders not always hide their money because that's what people always think about with a stable coin, but you can peg it at a specific dollar value because if I say I want to sell something at a certain Ethereum amount, obviously that's not going to be the same as saying I want to sell it at one dollar. They also be offering shorting and margin training, so DYDX is launching that as well as Lendroid and Box, so similar things to what BitMEX has on a centralized server this will be decentralized they also plan to do locale focus relayers decentralized sports betting which is actually going to be a huge market i think in the future they are planning on building synthetic stock futures so there are going to be platforms that look at building synthetic stock futures tether for video game items compliant token relayer which i just talked about with harbor dark pool relayer such as air switch the sewer, then there's mirror traders such as Prism, which actually is really interesting, which allows people to basically mimic trades of more experienced traders. So if you know someone who's making a lot of money, you can copy their trades, they get a portion of it, you get a portion of it, and then you can actually kind of copy what they're doing, almost like in following an investment fund. So one-click trading, token sales as a service, Zero WS as far as storage, software license secondary market, fiat to token, off-chain auctions, Bancor Mirror, Dex Lite, as well as an in-app exchange for NFTs. Lots of things that are coming for the project, a lot of ideas that they have, and a lot of companies reaching out to them specifically about these types of ideas. Here's a good breakdown, and I would like to give credit to Brent Ashiro on Twitter, who actually created this infographic. This kind of gives you an idea of all the different types of platforms using the ZeroX protocol and what they do. So here you have our decentralized exchanges. These are the relayers. Then there's margin trading and derivative markets. There's lending and crowdfunding. 
there's digital asset management, there's retirement planning, payments, management and governments, communities marketplace, cross change interoperability, prediction markets, labor markets, IoT, AI. So a lot of different type of platforms are currently using ZeroX right now, and this will only become an exponential growth when it comes to technology utilizing this type of protocol. So my closing statements about the ZeroX protocol. I am a big fan of this type of technology. It kind of underlines what the decentralized platform is going for and being able to lend the technology with other platforms. They're not asking for other people to utilize the platform. Obviously, the liquidity and the utilization of their tokens within the protocol is beneficial to them, but they're not looking for handouts. They're not looking to partner with platforms they're basically looking to solve an underlying issue for the decentralized tokenized asset issue. Right now we have too many centralized servers and 0x I believe is definitely the leader when it comes to this type of technology. Obviously there are competitors such as Loopring that are trying to deliver similar types of protocol, but I think 0x definitely has a leg up. If there are any big centralized exchanges right now looking to go to the decentralized route, I have a good feeling that Xerox would be a good choice if they did decide to go with a good working platform that they don't have to build from the ground up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more videos. Shoot me a comment if you have any questions, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks again.